Now behind me is the Wellcraft 355. This thing is a workhorse, offshore, power, just badass ripper. Now Wellcraft, with the first 355 that was released last year, now is releasing the cool, even better, even bigger Wellcraft 435. So we're gonna walk through this vessel. We are here in Cannes. I will show you all about the vessel. Stick with me, this will be a fun walkthrough. So we're gonna start on the outside because as all world debuts at the Cannes Yachting Festival, this vessel has a line out the door waiting to view it. So we're gonna look on the outside and start by talking about the specs. This is a 43 foot, 11 inch LOA, 350 horsepower Merc outboards, triple 350s, V10s, the new V10 Mercs. You've got a 12 foot, six inch beam. You got 340 gallons of fuel, 66 gallons of water, just right about 50 miles an hour on the top end with these big bad boy Mercs. Stepping on board, we've got two large side terraces, both of which fold down to give all of this uh, space that cuts around here folding out so then you have a much much larger cockpit area uh, obviously you've got a nice walk around here as your uh, when your engines are in the water and you fold this little area up trim up and you're out of the water and your engines are are, are safe Glenn Denning power cable uh, underneath this hatch really nice and easy access to that uh, electric Glenn Denning which is nice exterior area here nice cockpit folding sides on this table uh, on this floor, you got a nice hatch for storage. It can be wet storage or anything like that. Fenders, lines, uh, big storage underneath here uh, in Europe. Um, boat in box is BIB. Um, it's mandatory if you're going to have a vessel off six miles offshore, you need a BIB in your vessel. So this is a storage for that. But in the States, we would use that as a tons of storage because it's a large box that would keep up the area. So lots of storage there. Great exterior uh, canvas or great exterior upholstery, really nice. Uh, good seating here. Uh, one option for color here, so it's uh, you don't have uh, too many options of choice. It's just a nice, convenient color, neutral, comfortable. Uh, now, like I said before, both of these terraces on either side electrically fold down. You press uh, this button here, pop that out, press the button, it folds down. Uh, posts go into there like a little railing, and then you have. Um, your swim ladder that goes into that side. So you enter from swim ladder out of the water there. So really nice uh, use of the space here. You've got a uh, barbecue grill in here, plus a uh, refrigerator in there as well. And uh, down below, if you were to move this, it's when you're underway, you twist that down, it stays in place, but you can move it uh, either there or here or over here when you're uh, sitting at anchor or relaxing, having dinner. And then you've got lots of storage and access to electrical down here, um, your sea keeper, uh, generator information, all your other uh, fuses and other stuff down there. So great access to engineering stuff uh, down below. Uh, again, storage underneath these, storage underneath here. You've got cup holders, you've got your uh, USB chargers and stuff like that, which is always uh, helpful and handy. Um, as we talk about with the Wellcraft 355, everything they do is almost, is overbuilt. It's huge, it's big, it's thick. Um, and uh, something a little uh, unique that I was just uh, told about is these uh, two are your set screws for you know, keeping these pillars in place. But then this bottom one is actually the drain. So if there's any water that gets into the creases here, it doesn't just sit in here and then rust away and make this look all ugly. The water will drain out of here so you have clean stainless steel deck uh, fittings. Big sliding glass door here to enter into your salon. And then this window pops up here. So stepping into your salon, you've got great seating here, really nice setup and uh, port side mounted helm, uh, galley, lots of space, lots of countertop space. You've got uh, your fridge over here, microwave set up, storage for everything here. Now this is true uh, wood veneer here, not fake uh, any of the other synthetic stuff. That's actually true wood veneer that they're using on this. Uh, nice countertops with the little lip so you don't uh, go spilling stuff everywhere. You do have a TV that's mounted here, uh, permanent mount. You can pop it off uh, if you're gonna go underway or something and want to get it out of there, but then you gotta stash it somewhere. You do have great storage actually underneath both of these seats. Um, 
you lift up and there's storage underneath there. Uh, most vessels actually use underneath of this for headroom in your uh, down below. They uh, have enough headroom down there, so they actually use this for storage. Good use of that space. You can fold up these tables so you have a lot of, uh, um, you know, want to get have a full meal here, great. If not, you can uh, tuck it away. Similarly with this, we've got storage underneath there or a hole for it. This actually is heavy, but it slides into there. So you can then stash this away, slide it in, and then you have more uh, access to a, to a little bench seat there. So really nice use of that. AC vents uh, on both sides here up on top. They're high up, so then they're blowing your AC uh, up, on the, uh, up high versus uh, blowing it straight to the ground. Now walking forward to your helm, you have nice embroidered seats here you've got of course huge sliding door on both sides of uh, sliding door there window here so your uh, ventilation is excellent great uh, use for this side i love at the helm having a side door here for docking for anything else is a super nice feature uh, or just again wind in your hair is great uh, speaking of wind in your hair you have a huge sunroof here and uh, the 355 has two individual units that two buttons open them now this one is one full large unit you press a button it retracts uh, you've got, of course, your bug screen or your blackout shade on either side if you want the coverage. Now, this window here above the uh, salon seating is uh, affixed. There's no opening that, but you do have nice uh, vision if you want to open it up for that uh, with that kind of shade screen or your blackout again. Getting to your helm, this is a classy looking helm. Let's look at this thing. You've got uh, really, really nice LED backlighting with leather uh, upholstery here, leather stitching all around, uh, which makes for just a really classy feel. You've got nice stainless steel, well-craft embroidered, or well-craft uh, logo there, and a pretty badass steering wheel here um, that is, uh, got all your gauges and data here uh, to mess with stuff. So you don't even have to have the hands off the wheel if you're out ripping through the waves. Joystick uh, for the triple Mercs is uh, standard, not optional. So that's gonna come no matter what. Got your bow thruster, uh, updated um, uh, toggle switches here. You got your Merc screens for your triple outboards. Really nice setup, good large screens. Again, love this side door being wide open here, but if it starts to rain or too windy or something, you close it up, you're good to go. You do have these that fold down to, if you're short like me, gives you a little more uh, standing room, but the windows are great. You have really good visibility out front um, and then there's your helm uh, your com companion seating again nice cup holders you got your handle if you're really putting through some uh, through some snot out there but again sitting here it's like you're in a car with your window wide open it's great um, again this is that small side deck uh, but you can have someone helping you dock from this side if, if need be so really nice Stepping down below. This has carpet here. You can have uh, hardwood flooring. This is an optional snap-in carpet, but below that is the hardwood flooring. So stepping down below to, again, what separates this boat from the others, two staterooms, two heads with separate shower. So tons of space. Now you can almost decide how you want to do it. This would likely be the master. It's a little uh, more headroom, larger space, nice lighting. And now actually all of uh, these will you know, lift up to give good view here. I like this little area here. There's even um, a window that, sli that slides up there too. So not the w window won't open, but uh, that screen will open. So you really have a lot of light in here if you want it. Um, you've got nice leather over here and storage compartments on the either side of your bed. Nice vents for, of course, your airflow. You got uh, storage up there, all you want. Now your separate, your own personal ensuite dry head with separate shower. So you're not worried about wet head and getting all the stuff wet inside there. You got good, this steps down a couple inches. So you have quite a bit of headroom in here and the way it's angled up there, you got a lot of room. You got the wand shower, you sit it up there on that little stand and you're all good to go. Here we go. So now you've got, again, you got your TV, you got a nice setup in here. This is a great retreat, but leather all this stuff there's got leather backing on this just classy looking plus large compartment here for hanging closet stuff like that now outside going forward you have 
day head in here. So your day head is the uh, separate shower again. So nothing else in this range is doing this with two heads, two separate showers, and two staterooms. You've got now your other bedroom. Choose if you want this to be the master or if you want the other one, I suppose. But you have a nice couch seating here. Could be converted into a, another small bed for, uh, you know, small children or something like that. But a nice large bed here. This is lower headroom here, but you still have tons of space in here. Look at this. TV setup. Couch. So, again, headroom here. Not to, You're not standing up here, but, you know, get ready in your... Uh, in your separate day head and then go to go down below storage let's head out to uh you look at your panels here for you know, your stereo your battery switches generator switch and then your Schreiber system here <laughs> you have all that access to um up at your helm as well so we'll step upstairs and get out onto the bow Exiting your side door, you've got walkway all the way up to the bow. You do have a sideboarding gate here, uh, opens. Again, heavy, solid. And you got pop-up cleats here along the, the walkway and even a little storage compartment for extra lines. So it's easy access from your cleat to your storage for your lines. But let's walk to the bow. Um, I like how the railing swoops up here. Nice look, high side deck, safety. Uh, you also have hand railings here, so as you go, uh, really nice use of that. Again, it's you know, waist high or so. So again, um, ease and comfort, I guess, walking to the bow. Just like the 355, the uh, asymmetric side deck. So your main side deck you're gonna walk through is your starboard side. And the port side has a littler uh, entrance to uh, if you need to walk around for docking or something else, but ease and comfort and everything else is gonna be on that side. Now you see large bow uh, seating pads. Both of these will pop up to become seats. So you're sitting here, you want to lounge. As you sit in these seats, you'll notice that you've got a table set up that goes here with another seating here. So right now, you've got a nice lounging area up at the bow with a table uh, to relax, chit chat. You've got your evening lights. And again, the sun awning here, nice carbon fiber poles with the sun awning that gives you lots of coverage it's very sunny out here and nice you notice that it's not too too bright really gives you good shade when you're up here got your wellcraft logoed 3435 you got your cup holders and all the jazz there and that striking uh, windshield which is uh, custom just to the wellcraft line that kind of forward pin points out at the at the uh, front here and then it kind of angles backwards a little bit it's just a really uh, striking option there's the fourth uh, 355 again nice bow setup on both of these vessels you can see how much bigger how much taller this 435 is than the 355 this thing is the offshore just ripping through waves at 50 some miles an hour just really blasting and when you step up from being the go fast really pounding through the waves slicing and dicing you come to this 435 that gives you a little more comfort while cruising uh, still have the interior space that you want so you can close up and cruise comfortably or you get away from the sun. Um, but now you get into two staterooms in this vessel. You get into two staterooms with two heads and individual separate showers on each of the two heads. So really stepping up in comfort and uh, functionality within the 435. So great um, power, great power and um, functionality in this vessel here. So. We're gonna kind of keep walking around the guests as we go so we can get you the tour that we want. Now, cool um, handrails again up here. Um, plus, you then have options to add these uh, uh, bow ra uh, rails up here to make it actually like a rack. So you can put, uh, like they did over here, you put some uh, uh, kayaks on top or uh, paddle boards, something else like that. This can be your travel to, uh, to different locations and uh, enjoy the, the outside. Really nice exterior paint. This is not a wrap. This is real true paint. Uh, they have multiple options for paint or you can do white hull, but I think this uh, painted hull does give you a really nice uh, nice look. You know, works with that striking uh, bow. 
So I thought this was another nice feature here. You've got your uh, reverse flushing system for your outboard motors. If you are in salt water, uh, plug, plug the hose right in there and it's gonna flush out your outboards. You don't have to do it uh, just manually. So one more, one more feature here with these big carbon fiber poles. Now it's got a metal bar here that retracts with the press of a button. This button right here, it's gonna retract. You just open up both sides of there this little door flops down and then retracts right in. So your sun awning goes away, but there's an additional sun awning that goes uh, down. So then you have pr pr privacy uh, from your dock neighbors or from the sun that's setting, plus nice sunshade here. So really nice uh, sun shading options in your, fiber, uh, in your cockpit. All right, so that's the final wrap-up of the 435. I'm trying to dodge all the guests and people that are wanting to see this boat because it is very popular. This 355 has been a, a lot of fun to drive. I love ripping around with that thing. It is a fast boat. It turns on a dime. It's been a lot of fun to drive. Uh, we are going out on a sea trial on the 435 a little bit later. But the 435, the premise is, again, stepping up in class. You're going about, still going about 50 miles an hour. It's not as fast and as powerful. Still got the 355, uh, 350 triple outboards on there, but it's a little bit more stepping into the class, stepping into the next level of, uh, of, of evolving into boating. You want a little more comfortable while cruising offshore. Uh, two staterooms, two separate showers with, uh, two separate heads with separate showers. You get a lot more comfort, a lot more living space as you can see how much taller that boat is, how much bigger it is than the 355. So if you are sporty, loving the 355 rip around and you want something a little more uh, next level the 435 is super next level thanks for watching uh, this video with me in france uh, if i missed anything if you want to hear anything else shoot me a message in the comments i look forward to talking to you guys on the next video go around cheers